I was a Sancho fan. Let me actually start there. Because you see, I'm from actually a really good place here. Because when I preached about how good Sancho was, and I think he's one of the most talented young players out there, guys said, oh, Bundesliga attacks, you're an ITS merchant, and like, what can he do for big games? Okay, fine, 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 but I'm sorry. The guy I saw playing for Dortmund, I was like, this guy's good. And I like the way he plays, his dribbling, his close control, the way that he carries the ball, his balance of the ball. He just had very strong footballing fundamentals that I liked. So you could possibly say that I was actually a Sancho FC guy at Dortmund. You see, the beauty about sports is it's real. You see, this ain't like movies. You see, I'm like a movie guy. And in movies, it's sub sub subjective. I don't think Darkness is a great film. I think Nolan post Batman Begins has not made a film that's been that great. Other people think he's made some of the greatest films of all time. I think The Cable Guy is the best comedy of all time. People think it's creepy. It's subjective. Football, sports, but I just keep it football. It's real. It's subjective. There is no person apart from delusional Sancho FC guys that can say Sancho deserves to be this Man United team. That United need Sancho. Because we've seen him play. And for me, who was a huge Sancho fan as a dog month, I was like, sorry, bro, I can't defend you. And, you. and me, when I roll with you, I'm going to give you time. I'm going to give you time because if I, I've, I've called you, I'm like, okay, no, again, again, again. I had to pull the plug on Hazard. Had to pull the, I had to pull the plug on your boy Hazard. And I had to pull the, the plug on your boy Marco. This is what talented. So for Sancho, because let me let me just clear a few things. Just clear a few things. Ten Hag didn't single out Sancho. If he did, he would have mentioned his name to begin with. He was asked about Sancho. If Ten Hag was not asked about Sancho, he would have never mentioned Sancho. He was asked about Sancho, and he gave an honest assessment as a manager. Because Ten Hag doesn't strike me as a Mourinho, who's done worse. Mourinho will hang you out to dry just because. Ten Hag doesn't strike me as that guy. So, this is what people are missing. For Ten Hag to say that, knowing that he ain't a Mourinho, and he doesn't have a track record of acting like a Mourinho where you will hang guys out to, to dry at a whim, maybe Sancho has done something that we don't know because... People think they know everything. None of you are at quarantine. None of you are at training. None of you knows what has happened behind closed doors. So why are you going to believe Sancho over Ten Hag? But put it that way. Sancho could be right. Ten Hag could be right. Put that to one side. Sancho, you don't have any credit in the bank. You have no credit in the bank. So the fact that that statement only came down a few days ago is, is crazy. I think it was yes yesterday. And you didn't feel the need to apologize. You didn't feel the need to apologize? That's insane. That is insane. So, the, like for me, I thought, okay, you've come in and put it. So, because for, for Sancho, you have to be realistic here. You have no credits in the back. You don't have that many supporters. Because Sancho put out that statement thinking that he could change the narrative and win through this, the sympathy card. But he didn't, but what he didn't calculate is... Sancho FC will, will, will roll with you throughout. That's Sancho FC. Sancho FC don't have many members. Because I, I had to leave Sancho FC. Like, I, I told the Sancho FC, but sorry, guys, um, I'm going to have, have to leave. So I've, I've left Sancho FC. And I think a few other people have left as well. So Sancho FC don't have enough members for you to have your back to change that narrative. So the fact that you didn't apologize to the manager, your boss, and you don't have any credit in the bank because you don't have any good performances to back you up. Sancho, you've messed yourself up. Which top club will want to buy Jadon Sancho? Sancho, you're going to have to run back to the Bundesliga. You can't name me a top six, top seven set that said, oh, we'll, yeah, we need a Sancho. He's talented. I, he is, you don't lose talent. But talent is irrelevant if it can't be effective and actually can't apply it to help you, you win games for your team. So for Sancho, you've not done enough to make a strong enough argument that I should be in this team. You simply haven't. You simply haven't. So, um, 
what am I going to say? I mean, I'm, I mean, like, what are we going to say? So, Ten Hag, man, it's, it's, it's a rough one. Anthony, Greenwood, Sancho, through no fault of his own. Through no fault of his own. Because it was so crazy because I was on the terrace and this guy was adamant that, oh, Ten Hag, he hung him out to dry. He shouldn't have said the younger man to dry. Sancho, you're on 300 foul. You've been garbage. You've you've auditioned and you've won the role of Casper the Ghost and you've played that role to perfection. You've played the role of Casper the Ghost to absolute perfection. Marlon Brando would tip his hat to, to you. Denzel would say, he's that dude. You played the role well. So, I'm sorry. There was nothing wrong with what Sen Hag said because, see, guys, let's start being real. I want managers to be real. Because here's the thing, and I'll, I'll leave it with this. Reaction. Pick Cristiano Ronaldo. That's one thing I've said about Cristiano. I've never, I've seen few players with a strong, with stronger self belief and stronger mentality than Cristiano. If Ten Hag did that to Cristiano, do you know what he does? He's going to get back into training and he's going to prove him wrong. And when Cristiano gets his chance in the next game, he's he's dropping a three piece. Through, he will use that anger, harness it, and he'll drop a three piece. That's what Cristiano does because he's got a strong mentality. So many of these players lack that strength of mentality to be like, oh, he did this to me, bail. Do you know? Do you know how Bale felt to be benched in a freaking UCL final? I am one of, I was a marquee signing. I was one of the main players of this team. I was crucial for this team and you benched me for the biggest game of my career? He would have been pissed off, angry. Bale didn't be like, oh, Zidane benched me. I'm going to now go onto Twitter and be angry, angry emoji, angry emoji. Because Bale could have, could have, could have been like, put a few emojis. Once he saw the line, be like, nah. Gets quiet, anger, he was pissed off, anger. He got on and he dropped a two-piece. One of them was, a, was one of the best goals we've written in the UCL final. So for Sancho, if you had a stronger mentality rather than playing the victim, you would have been like, I'm not training hard enough. And this, you would have been angry, pissed off. Next training session, you go crazy, you go mad, and you play so well. You work so hard, Ten Hag has no freaking choice. And come that next game, you ball out. You ball out. It's all about you. It's it's everything is about perception and what you use it to. Too many players of this day. Do you know what? It's it's what I'm using right now. This what I'm using right now. I think has been a detriment to players. And I agree with Cristiano, bro. In that Piers Morgan interview, players to, to today. So much on the phone, too much about social media, too much about posting because you have social media, which means that you have a close connection to your fanboys. And why, when you have the close connection to your fanboys, they can be those echo chambers. Sorry, Tancho, man. Sorry, bro. And now, where are you going to go? And for Ten Hag, you may have to find someone from the roads of Manchester to play that right wing position. Like that video, subscribe if you're new, head over to the, to the website. And join us later on for the next live show.